Hi, I'm Eric Hawkins, the Chief Mechanic here at Park Tool, and this is Jeff Swanson, our Head Engineer. We are here to introduce the 40 newer updated tools for 2018. We're going to start here. This is our TS4 truing stand, which we introduced last year, but this year we're introducing a tilting base that fits the TS4, and we also have a version that fits the TS2.2 and TS2. Lots of great compartments, a place for spoke wrenches, and it tilts uh, fore and aft. Moving over here, this is the tool caddy. And we had a tool caddy years ago, but this is the new, fresh, updated version. Tell us about it, Jeff. Yeah, this one's a little bit more specific than our last one, where the last one had a series of round holes. This one has specific places for our AWS three-way wrenches, screwdrivers, uh, miscellaneous tools, small parts as well as a connecting system for our HXHs, which hold our P-handle wrenches. So tell us uh, about those. So these, uh, we had a P-handle holder for our hex wrenches. Now we have one for our Torx wrenches as well. Uh, these will be available individually and they will come in the set. And these will fit much better for the Torx wrenches and they will also accept our AWS three ways. Right, there's three different holes there that you can put the three ways in alongside the P-handle. Exactly, keep everything in one spot. Moving up to the front, this is our SBS-3, which is a socket and bit set. And that is a big comprehensive set that includes hexes, Torx bits, and sockets, both in a short and a long version in some of those. Also included in the SBS-3 are two other kits that you can get separately. The SKT-6, which is a flat socket set, mostly for fork caps, and then the SBS 1.2, which is a socket and bit set um, that's smaller. So you would maybe have that in a home workshop or um, on a bench, but not as comprehensive as this one. Gonna move back here to the CRS 15 EXT. T. Tell us about that. So this is a, an extension for your C CRS 15, really designed to accommodate for the long steerer tubes, up to 425 millimeters That's now. That's long. Very long. So these two parts are available as the 15 EXT, but they'll also be included in the CRS 15.2 kit. Right. Moving ahead, tell us about these screwdrivers. People have been asking us about these for a long time. Tell us about the two new screwdrivers. Well, we put a lot of work into the screwdrivers, actually. These are uh, great fitting screwdrivers. Uh, both tips, the flat and the cross point, are machined, precision machined, and the cross point is actually a JIS compliant screwdriver. So it gives you a great engagement on derailleur screws and all of the higher end fasteners right. that we have now. Uh, CNC machine aluminum handles with knurling. Uh, to give you a great feel and give you a good purchase, and also a knurled area on the actual shaft of the blade to give it a good spin. So a high-end precision machined screwdriver. Exactly. These are all bottom bracket tools. The three in front are updates of what we make now. Exactly. What's different about those? The profile is machined just slightly differently to provide better engagement. These will engage on lower profile bottom bracket shells much better. Right. These are three brand new tools. Brand new. So we st I'll start off with the single-sided one up front. That's the BBT-27, and that's fitting the FSA Mega Evo as well as the wheels manufacturing PF30 standard. The middle one, the black anodized version, is a two-sided tool. So that's actually fitting the Praxis M30 and M35 standards. That's the BBT-35. And the one in the back here is the BBT-47, and that's going to fit the Enduro T-47 and PF-30 standard on one side. On the second side, it's going to fit the Chris King. Right, and these are all 3 ace drive, Correct. so torque wrench compatible, yep. and all precision CNC machined aluminum. Yep. Uh, moving back here, these are the PMP 3.2. The biggest difference in these is you can now get them in Park Tool Blue or Black and they come with a new mounting system that goes on the water bottle cage mounts. HMR-8, which is an eight ounce version of our bigger hammer, the HMR-4. So just a little bit easier to handle when you're in those tight spots. 
Tell us about this bottom bracket tool. Uh, the BBT 30.4, uh, that is actually a, an extension uh, with bottom bracket shells getting larger and larger uh, Wait, with fat bite, fat fat bike, bike right? standards. Uh, we needed to make it a little bit larger to uh, push that bearing out. Right. So, Moving over here, this is the FR 5.2G and FR 5.2 GT. And basically we just made those a little bit longer to fit a wider variety of cassette lock rings because parts change, so we have to change. In front of that, we have the MWR set, and that is the same configuration as our regular MW1 set, except these have ratcheting box end wrenches. So same great quality, it's just that one end is now ratcheting. Moving back here, these are taps and guides. Tell us what those fit. Yep, new taps and guides for the T47 standard. So we have our threading taps, which will chase threads to take out any additional paint or excess overspray on the paint job. And if there's some damage to the threads, it would also clean that up. For chasing threads, chasing. not for creating new threads. Correct, correct. And guides to help you uh, face the, that same bottom bracket shell. Right, so these fit our tapping set and these fit our facing set. Exactly. Uh, moving over here, this is an ATD 1.2. This is our adjustable torque driver. So that uh, goes between four and six newton meters and half newton meter increments. The only difference is that you can now adjust it by hand, whereas the first version, you needed a hex wrench to make that adjustment. Moving back here, these are chain whips and we've created a new ergonomic handle. It's a slightly different material. The SR12 is now 12 speed compatible. It'll go from five to 12 speed. So we would just have one chain whip made for derailleur, freewheels and cassettes. This is the SR18.2 and that's for eighth inch chain. The uh, HCW16.2 is also 12 speed compatible, five to 12. New torque wrenches. Tell us about the new torque wrenches, Jeff. So the new torque wrenches, the TW 6.2 and the TW 5.2, uh, same ranges, the 10 to 60 Newton meters on the 6.2, 3 to 15 on the 5.2, but a little bit easier to adjust. There, it's a pull-out handle and much more positive engagement when it snaps back in so you know that it, exactly where you're at. And also on the 5.2, it is no longer a quarter-inch drive, it's a 3 8 inch drive. Right, so handy that all the bits fit either wrench without an exactly, adapter. Exactly, no adapters. Moving here, another bottle opener. And this is made in the design of our multi-tools, but basically it's a bottle opener, but also a corkscrew opener. Forged aluminum side plates, comes with a knife. And speaking of beverages, this is our TRY-1, try one, beer tray slash parts tray. Um, it's a great tabletop parts holder for wet parts or just to keep all your parts together. So you don't have to use it for beer, but you <laughs> certainly can. Now there are three new products that we couldn't fit on the table up here. The first one is a THS-1, which is a trailhead station, which is basically a public workstation that can be mounted on any post or flat surface. Uh, you can use those at a trailhead, hence the name. Um, you can use them on the side of a building in an apartment building, on a college campus. Basically, it's a way to hang your bike uh, temporarily, and it comes with eight weather-resistant tools because it's made to be outside. We also have a post option, and that's the THP-1. The PRS-22.2 is an updated version of the PRS-22, which we introduced last year. Jeff, tell us the difference. Uh, the big difference is the smoother operation that we're going to have this year. So we, we've added a height adjusting collar, so it's actually going to have a really positive engagement on the height, staying at one height, and we improved the, the actual rotation, and we've added two uh, receivers on that collar for a work tray or a paper towel holder or whatever accessory we can, you can fit on there. Right, and the other thing is we made a PRS-22 EXT, which is an extension for the PRS-22 or 22.2. Mm -hmm. Tell us what that extension does. That extension is going to cover really long wheelbase bikes, so if it's a really extreme head angle or just a large bike. Right, so for 95% of the bikes it's fine, it's, yep. and this is for the really long wheelbase. This is for the extreme end. Right. So there you have it, 
40 newer updated tools. And all of these tools can be found at your favorite retailer. And you can find more information on parttool.com. Thank you.